In this tutorial, we'll cover the basic differences between spot, bring into, and send. There are two kinds of transfers, a copy and conversion, which as its name implies, creates a new file, thereby allowing it to be renamed and relocated. And then there is a reference transfer, where SoundMiner only sends a pointer to the target application. In this case, there's no conversion, so there can be no renaming. The receiving application determines whether it will use it as is or make a new copy. These transfer types can be used in a few different ways. Let's first look at spot to timeline. This refers to a specific inter-application set of events that allows SoundMiner to communicate with another application, which results in a file being directed to the application's timeline. Both SoundMiner and the receiving application need to support the system for it to work, and only a handful of applications do so. Avid's Pro Tools is the most common example, and the one we'll use to demonstrate. I'm going to select Edit and Spot a file directly into the Pro Tools timeline at a specific time code. In SoundMiner, I make sure the DAW menu is set to Target Pro Tools. Using the inner application communication, V4.5 Pro recognizes Pro Tools as running and confirms the session information. And in Pro Tools, I place the cursor where I want the item to land. Now be careful to select the correct kind of track for your transfer, mono, stereo, or multi. In SoundMiner, you can click the Spot tool in the toolbar or use the quick key S. In this case, I've set it to copy and convert the audio, place it into the Pro Tools audio folder, and have it spotted to the timeline at the previously determined cursor position. A new audio file was created by SoundMiner based on the settings in the preference window, and we can see the resulting file in the Pro Tools audio folder. If I wanted Pro Tools to use the original file, I would have to check the Reference Original option in the Preferences. It still winds up spotted to the timeline, but it's important to note that SoundMiner would only have sent a pointer, and Pro Tools would have decided if the file was usable as is or not. No new file is created in this case, so no renaming or altering of the metadata is possible. That is, unless Pro Tools' own preferences are set to copy on import. If that happens, Pro Tools is making a new file and likely removing metadata. It's important to understand these concepts as they apply to most targeted applications and will help with troubleshooting. Bring into is an alternative to this. It doesn't spot to the timeline, but instead places the file in the region bin of Pro Tools. In both cases, spot or bring into, you can transfer one or more files. This method can also be set up to use reference transfer in the same way I demonstrated, and this method too is governed by your preference settings. And send is a further simplified alternative that only uses the reference method. For example, this is the same process that governs the simple drag and drop from a browser. It's important to understand that using this method, SoundMiner can't employ any of its features like conversion, editing, file renaming, and metadata embedding because it's not transcoding the file. The receiving app determines if it'll accept the file, play it from its original location, or make its own copy. Now you may ask, why have this since both Spot and Bring Into offer referenced options? And the reason is, those two options offer inter-application support. Send is used for applications that don't have this, and so the drag and drop method supported by the system is used. And finally, a quick note about the spotting area. This is an area designed to allow users to make lists of things they want to transfer. Items can be dragged into lists, and clicking delete will allow them to be removed. You can store your edit decisions, so in this case, if I only want to transfer this section of the file, I can store that in the list. There's a lot of power here that's covered in detailed tutorials if you wish to explore them. But what's important to note is that when active, the spotting panel will try to track your transfers. As you transfer, files will be added and marked in red to signify they've been transferred. But if you're not going to use this section and have no plans to organize transfers, it just makes for a huge list that bogs down your application. So there's an option in the hammer wrench to turn it off. If you're not planning on organizing transfers, best to turn it off.